Now here we have, uh, once again, a similar question where we have to solve this um, more complex trigonometric equation. And again, we see it's not really that complex. Uh, the only reason why it's not as simple as before is because now we have sine squared, which means there's going to be two trig ratios equal to a constant. And because these two trig ratios equal to a constant, we'll have two reference angles and therefore actually four general solutions when it comes to sine. Okay, so um, in this case, they also tell us we're not allowed to use a calculator and we should find the specific solutions since they give us an interval. Let's go ahead and find those solutions. First of all, we solve for sine squared t is equal to 2 over 4, which is 1 over 2. And next up, we find the, um, so we solve for that, and then we get that sine t is there for either, um, well, I took a square root on both sides, just in case you don't know, uh, square root, and then it must be plus minus. So sine, sine t is either 1 over the square root of 2, or sine t is equal to negative 1 over square root. Two. So there's two solutions, and uh, those two solutions, uh, or actually two equations, and in those two equations I get two reference angles, so I either get that my reference angle is equal to 45, okay, I know that this is y over r, which means this is opposite is 1, and that is 2, okay. Uh, square root 2, which means that this is also 1. Okay, 1 plus 1, 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2. And that means that the hypotenuse is the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the special triangle 45 degrees. There's another way of getting it using that diagram that I showed in previous videos. Please refer to that if you can't remember or don't know. Um, but another way of looking at 1 over square root of 2 <coughs> multiplying <coughs> square root of 2 to get the square root of 2 in the numerator and square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. So 2 over square root 2. Square root 2 over 2 I mean. Okay. And uh, that means that another triangle that, that is exactly the same angle is if this is 2 that is square root uh, so that's 2 square root 2 sorry. And um, no, I lie. That's not 2 square root 2. That's just square root 2. So it's square root 2. Let me fix this. Okay, that's 2. That's square root 2. That's square root 2. Because square root 2 squared is 2 plus square root 2 squared is also 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. Okay, so that's another way of drawing the same triangle. This one is just a little bit bigger, but it's got the same angles. Okay, so my reference angle is either 45 degrees or for this side, I've got my reference angle as negative 45 degrees because sine is negative in the fourth quadrant, so my reference angle must be in the fourth quadrant. Okay, I could have used the third quadrant angle as well. This was just easier. So now I get my solutions. I get my general solution that x is equal to my reference angle 45 plus 360 degrees times k. And the alternative, the other solution, is where I have 180 minus 45. So 135 plus 360 degrees times k. That's the one solution. The other solution for, the, um, for this side is where my reference angle is negative. So I either get that x is then negative 45 plus 360 times k, k or x is uh, 180 minus negative 45. That means 180 plus 45 gives me 225 plus 360 times k. So this time and in both of these cases we see k is an element of integers. Okay, however this is not where we end since we have to find the solutions that's on these this interval. On that interval means we are going to have to replace k with different values and find which values work. Okay, so as I've said if not a hundred times then 200 times that now we're going to replace k with one two until I fall outside of my uh, interval and then I'm going negative one negative two until I fall outside of my interval so we start with this expression if k is equal to one then I uh, sorry zero then I get 45 okay 45 is too small my smallest must be 135 so that's not going to work 
so let's try a second one how about if x is equal to uh, if k is equal to 1 then I get 360 plus 45 that's 405 that will work 405 but you can see 405 is very close to 450 already so that if I add another 360 that would be too much so I've added one I won't be able to add another two let's try and subtract one okay well I can't even subtract one because zero didn't work if zero didn't work negative one is not going to work either I can't go smaller because zero was already too big okay so let's go to this one okay so let's make k equal to zero then I get 135 great okay is 135 greater than 135 no it's not not unless this was equal to I'm not allowed to use 135 so 135 will not work how about adding another 362 in other words sub going negative side will again not work it will be too small but adding another 360 gives me takes me to 495 that's too big as well so that there's no no uh, k that I can substitute into this equation that will fall in that interval which is fine that's that's not a problem okay let's try this one negative 45 itself in other words if k is equal to 0 will not work because negative 45 is smaller than 135 how about if k is equal to so again it's too small if I go in the negative direction it won't work anyways okay so going into the positive direction I add 360 so then I have 360 minus 45 gives me 315 315 will work okay 315 is less than 450 greater than 135 but adding another 360 will take me to 675 that's obviously too big so in other words going further than that is not going to work either how about this one when k is equal to 0 I get 225 that's big enough because it's bigger than 135 and smaller than 450 so one solution there is 225 adding 360 will take me to 585 that's too big okay subtracting 360 will take me to well then I have uh, can't maybe 135 subtracting 360 will take me to negative 135 that's too small okay negative 135 is too small so that I have three solutions 405 315 degrees and 225 degrees these are three solutions that will solve sine squared t or four sine squared t equal to two and all of them will be in this interval and that's it